A group of Hoosiers is getting ready to march on Washington, not to welcome the new president of the United States, but rather to make him aware about issues concerning women. Our Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker talked with them about the message they'll take to D.C. There may only be a few dozen people gathered in this church basement right now, but come next Friday, there will be 4,000 of them. Hoosiers headed to the nation's capital next weekend for the Women's March on Washington. The mission mainly is women's rights, period. Larissa Jones is one of the organizers of the Indiana contingent, many of whom will be wearing these scars to stand out in a crowd expected to number more than 250,000. The march is scheduled the day after President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration. And this is not an anti-Trump rally. This is strictly to inform them that we are women in the United States who want to see progress made in the direction of women. So, you know, I, I don't want people to associate this with an anti-Trump rally because it's not. It's for women. It's for women's rights. Women aren't the only ones going, though. This march is for women and for the men who love them. We are looking for more men to stand up for the rights of women. Norm Campbell will be one of thousands boarding buses across Indiana Friday night, arriving in D.C. Saturday morning in time to march. It is an affirmation that we are prepared to fight for the rights that women have achieved and we will continue to push for equality for women. For me, it is a, a pep rally. For me, it is an opportunity to understand and exercise our rights as Americans. It is an opportunity for us to go and have our voices heard. As an American Muslim, Khadija Sharif wanted to be heard after she heard what she felt was anti-Muslim rhetoric during the president-elect's campaign. The protest to who is in the White House is, has to be secondary to what we need to do first here. So I march because I have um, sisters across the country that are totally afraid to wear their, their scarves because of their religion. We represent all the women who have something to say and their voices are not being heard. And what better way these march participants believe to get their voices heard by the new president than to raise those voices on his second day in office. And Hoosier voices won't just be raised in Washington. A sister's march is set for next Saturday here at the state capitol starting at 11 a.m. Similar marches are being planned at the same time in states all across the country. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And you can find more information on the Women's March on Washington and the Sisters March planned for here in Indianapolis on our website, WTHR.com.